Hey guys, welcome back. So it's been a little bit since we've done a bus video and we, I think the last time we put up a video we said, hey, we're going to start doing this every week and we didn't. So we kind of wanted to touch base again and let you guys know where we've been and let you know that this time we mean it, we're really going to start doing regular videos. Um, and yeah, we just kind of want to give you guys an update. So um, I think I said on the last video, or maybe I didn't, that our son is home from college and this is going to be his last summer home and after this he's getting an apartment and he's he's going to be moved out. He'll be staying at school up until graduation. And uh, I'm really likely. sad. <laughs> and he's our last one to leave. Our, our daughter's um, already, is already staying at college. So um, being that you know we're going to be 100% empty nesters in August, we're kind of staying a little bit closer to home to spend more time with him. Um, and I've had a little bit of some medical issues, so we've been having to stay a little bit closer to home for that. Um, but we are taking this time. We've got a lot of things that we've been wanting to do on the bus that we haven't gotten around to. So we're going to jump into that um, starting this week. We want to put up new curtains because we don't have any, and it's kind of important. Um, we want to put in a new step because if you guys remember when we got this bus, the steps were completely rusted out. So we took out the whole steps and we just have the empty, what would you call it? Stairwell. Like yeah, yeah, stairwell. Without any stairs and we've been using a stepping stool to get up and I'll show you a picture here. Um, and, but I want, we keep hurting ourselves on that thing. <laughs> so we want to take that out and actually build a real step there. Um, and we have a, a few repairs that we've been doing to the bottom of the bus um, that well, we, we, we went on a trip that we were going to film for you guys and we had a couple of issues and we never did take the camera out, but do you want to explain what happened? Yeah, we uh, we, we were up in the upstate. We were, we were up on uh, Lake Greenwood and um, I mean, not, nothing major, but it's, uh, it's a pretty uneven terrain up there around the lake and we were, I was attempting a three-point turn on a dead-end road and um, all I could think of is I, I may have bottomed out the back um, and the, unfortunately the lowest parts, the, the tailpipe, exhaust pipe, and all I could think of is it must have made contact and uh, damaged one of the, the, the hanger, the mounts for it. Um, wasn't obviously, it wasn't, wasn't obvious right away, but over the three and a half hour trip home, I guess the vibrations, it went ahead and, uh, and continued breaking. So we got home, we were just about dragging our exhaust before we got to the driveway here. Um, so we're getting that button back up and, uh, and repaired. Yeah, and on the way home, the bus started making this really weird sound, and we didn't know at the time that we had an exhaust problem because it wasn't hanging low enough to be obvious. So we kind of thought it was a brake issue, and now that we are home, the first thing we did was fix the muffler so we could drive it a little bit to hear what the sound was. Now there's no sound. So we don't know whether it fixed itself from the resting and it's going to pick back up when we drive or if it was a residual sound from the breaking of the muffler. So we've got to, um, we're going to drive it around town today and kind of see if we can make it do so that we, again. we can recreate it. It sounded it sound like the uh, this thing has um, has disc brakes all around and it sounded like a little bit of a brake drag. Um, it, it's just the way it sounded and uh, I, in fact I thought it was our drive line. We had, this thing has a, it has a trans brake for the parking brake. And we had to use the parking brake up in that, that hilly area around Lake Greenwood, and I thought the trans brake was not fully releasing, but of course that sound will be up under the under the, the middle of the front. Um, that's not the case. So we kind of pinpointed it back to this driver's side rear. Um, but now that I've fixed the exhaust, I'm wondering if it wasn't just part of the exhaust, maybe rubbing the drive line. It shouldn't be that close, but something. Um, it, anyways, it's not doing it now. So we're going to drive it for a little bit, I'll probably come back and I'll pull it apart and um, give me a chance too to show you guys a video as I pull this, uh, pull these rims off of the, the valve stem extensions that I use so I can, I can add air and check air on the road anywhere without any special tools. Um, a few of you guys have asked to see that, so I'll try to show you those um, during the process. Yeah, so next week, our, 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 we're going we're to start putting on a video every week, and I mean it this time. So next week will be the video that shows you guys the um, valve stem extensions Yeah, and, then and we're maybe gonna, some brake work. We'll, we'll look at it and see. Yeah, hopefully we don't need it, but we'll see. And then we're going to start doing um, 
the, the curtains. I've, I've seen several people put up the curtains instead of using traditional rods, using the, um, what do you call that wire? Cable. Yeah, cable. Spray the cable. <laughs> that. So we're going to um, try to, to make that happen and put up some curtains, fix this wall. And we also need to um, seal up some of the windows. So we're going to do a video on that and finish the front door. Um, I got to replace the exterior seals and um, the, all the seam seals. It's, it's just a, it's a normal maintenance item that needs to be done every every few years if it's in the sun. So I've been needing to do that. I'll get that done as well. Um, and if you guys, this is this will kind of wrap up the bus discussion for today. But if you guys want to stick around, we do other things. Um, over the last couple weeks, we've actually uh, um, been playing on our river land a little bit more this time of year. And uh, we have a few clips of some, some fun times we had out there. Uh, we have a, a six by six amphibious, uh, well, semi-amphibious vehicle. We think that, we have uh, one. <laughs> yeah. Um, my daughter and I uh, took it out Father's Day and managed to sink it in our swamp at Edisto. So we have a little bit, little bit of footage of that. If you guys want to stick around and see that, it's just a good time. Yeah, and us kayaking through the swamp. Yeah, yeah um, we paddled in. So, so we're going to show that to you in a minute. But at the, at, uh, we, we've videotaped uh, a good portion of that this week, and. Um, it got me thinking, which I asked at the end of the video, but I wanted to ask it here too in case people don't stick around. Um, you know, we this channel started because we did had the van and we did van life. Then we upgraded to the bus. Well, I say upgrade, that's not really fair. Van life is way cooler in a lot of situations. But anyway, that's a whole other video. Um, but then we changed to the bus and so we got people that way. And now we have the floating river cabin and I can tell from the comments that some people come for that. So um, our thinking for the rest of the summer is we're going to kind of do um, bus videos and then river videos and then bus and then river and kind of back and forth like that. Um, but I want to know your thoughts in the comments. Um, how many of you guys are here just for the bus or just for the river or do you like it all? So um, let us know in the comments below kind of what your thoughts are on that, what you'd like to see so we can kind of um, help tailor this channel to what you guys want. And on, on, on the bus side of things, are you more interested in uh, destinations and things we do, or are you more interested in uh, repairs, remodeling, maintenance, um, customization, that kind of thing? Yeah. So yeah, let us know. And we can also, we can do some specialty things, you know, if there's certain things that you want us to make a video on, because I know a lot of people have said that you guys are actively doing bus builds with the same kind of shuttle bus. So if there's something specific that we did that you like, that you'd like to see, um, let us know. Or, you know, we could do a Q&A if you guys just have some bunch of random questions for us. Let us know in the comments. And we're, um, like I said, we're going to keep these videos coming at least once a week. But if you guys have a lot of suggestions of uh, things that you'd like us to do while we're doing these little additions, let us know. And maybe we'll um, kind of a bit two, two videos a week if we, you never know. <laughs> <laughs> um, but anyway, enough with that. Um, thank you guys. Well, I'm not going to say goodbye because I hope you're going to stick around. Um, so let's go to the river. Stay tuned. All right. Here's what we have to work with. And in theory, there is enough water here for us to canoe. <laughs> in theory. But see all of that debris right there? We have to find a good enough path through the water that's not covered in debris. So we'll see how it goes. Here comes the walking in the mud. And y'all, I'm doing this in flip flops. Ew, it's coming between my toes. <laughs> okay, so we're going to um, push off and we'll see you again in a minute. So we're almost to the end. If you see, oh well, I don't know if you can see through there. Hold on, let's go under this tree. I'm really pleasantly surprised with how much water we have. And if you can see, there's our house right there. We were able to get right to it.
I really love our property. One of these days, it would take more money than we own, but I would love to build a boardwalk that went from one end at the road to up here. But I can't even imagine. How many feet you say we own from this road to the river? About uh, 1,200 feet or so. So it would have to be a 1,200 foot boardwalk. But wouldn't that be awesome? What's amazing in here is you can't show pictures of the temperature change. It's so cool in this swamp because this is a very cold water river. We used to have beavers that kept a dam right here, but I haven't seen them. I think they moved on. We definitely have water under the house, but I don't think it's floating. No, we still have some land up there. So it's not floating yet. Okay, so we are going to, I'm going to help Brandy dock and um, we'll see you again at the house. Alright, so we're taking a break and we are playing some Scrabble and I'm winning. Nope. Yep. What's Actually the right now it's 51 Jamie, 82. No, me. when did you get 82? 82? A couple words ago. Had a Come triple on. word. Come on. 82. You're going to school you again too. <laughs> He thinks so. I can't stand I get one word in my mind <laughs> and I can't do anywhere else but that. Is it cheating if you do the same word twice? Same word twice? Yeah. You do that? I just laid a word and I play it again. Oh, another another spot. Yeah. You can do that. Okay, well, good news, bad news. The good news is I really love this thing right here. The bad news is that we do not have a screwdriver here. So uh, we can't hang it today. But we get a good idea of what it looks like, which I really, really like there. Perfect. And, and towels, bathing suits, that kind of thing. Yeah, and more cubbies for when we stay overnight. We can put stuff. Wallet, pistol. Yeah, because see, over there we have the um, the two, uh, whatever you call it, thingies that we get that we got to put our stuff in. So this matches it really well. Then Randy got the new toilet in. Yay! I'll need to plumb it on the next trip to have the water supply for the fresh water flush. Yeah, we need to do that, and we still need to put a sink in right here, which is one of the things that we, you know, I think we're almost done, though, with the bathroom. I think yeah. when we put this sink in here, and then we plumb the toilet, which right now we're still just dumping water, river water, from that bucket in to flush it for gravity. And I'm loving all of this water. It's so pretty. And we thought we floated. I don't know if we did or not, but we have our, our roof pulled out and um, it worked. Nothing broke. I don't think we quite floated. We were worried. But I think it worked out okay. So now Randy's trying to talk me into swimming. You see he's wearing a towel. He already did. And he was cold. So we'll see if he talks me into getting in or not. It's really nice sometimes to be able to come through this way versus the 15 minute drive on the boat. This paddle takes about three minutes from the car to the house and the boat takes about 15 minutes um, from the boat landing. Plus it's so pretty and it's peaceful. But it's hot and mosquitoes, so pros and cons. Which is your favorite, Randy? What's that? This way or the big boat way down the river? Um, you know me, I always love a motorboat, but this is more peaceful. Anytime I get a chance to run a motorboat, I want to run a motorboat. <laughs> For our anniversary, we bought ourselves a, um, well, some people call it an Argo. Ours was called a Max. Max 2. It's an amphibious vehicle. It's like a four-wheeler, but it's also a boat, so it will go in the water. And um, six, six by six. 
So we came down here once and um, Randy and I went through, we're going through the path we are now and it was all dry and we actually made it to the cabin and I filmed a little bit and I was gonna do a video, but when I went to upload the video, it was so bumpy that you couldn't see anything. So um, I didn't do the video. But then on Father's Day, Randy came back with our daughter and they came through this path and it was higher water than this. And they, when you wanna tell them the story? We sang. <laughs> well, I thought you might put a little bit more. <laughs> Which one? Okay, hang on. That one? Yeah. Are we seeing the right one? It's got an open stump in the top of it. I guess we can't see it. I mean the owl. I guess we can't see the oh oh we can see the owl and he's in there. Hang on. Oh, that's right not an too. owl. Snake right there. It's not a bad one there. That's not an owl. <laughs> There's something in that tree. It's like a vulture looking thing. You see the snake right there on top of the water? No. Where? Right between those two big trees. It heads up, kind of high. I don't see snake. it. Zoom in right there between those two trees. Oh, it must be floating away. I see the trees yes, moving. It's away fast, well, don't though. go over there. Hey, hey, hey! Don't go over there. Up in that hole, in that tree, right there. Y'all probably didn't see it. A big old huge vulture bird thing. God, the thing was ugly. We thought it was gonna be the owl tree. Where is it? I lost it. I did see a bird up there. I'll have to rewind the footage and see if I was anywhere close. I was flipping the camera around so the viewfinder is towards me. So when I flipped the camera around, I couldn't see what the camera was looking at, but I saw this ugly bird. Oh, the thing's ugly. Oop, there goes my glasses. Ugly thing. I mean, it has like the face of a vulture, but it was missing half its feathers. I don't know what the heck. Baby, that's probably one of the juvenile owls we heard of. Oh, heard that it. thing is a juvenile. That thing's that thing was huge. Well, owls are anyway, I'll have to rewind the video and see if we got it. But anyway, back to my story. So on Father's Day, they brought the Argo out here, and um, my daughter took some some footage of them actually taking it out into the water and then you hear her say oh no and then the thing cuts out and they uh, sink <laughs> so I think we have some footage of that and if I can find it I'll stick it in here so this week was our anniversary and as an anniversary present to each other we bought this to help us get into our land so let's see how it works video we were over there and now we're here a little bit underwater so we're swimming <laughs> and pushing a boat car at this point but at least we're getting some refreshing river time keep you oh yeah please don't electrocute us we'll see how this goes going our way out but on the plus side, this is definitely an adventure, and we got a chance to swim. <laughs> so, pretty good time. 
I'd say. Good story. Unfortunate for our nice little motor vehicle, but it'll probably be fine. <laughs> At least it's a really nice day. Okay, so you can see we finally made it back to land. Um, ended up having enough water to make it there and back, which was exciting. And now, interestingly, now I'm getting eaten by mosquitoes. I didn't have the single mosquito in the marsh, but here I'm getting eaten alive. Um, so I think this is where we're going to leave you guys. Thank you so much for watching and for um, joining us today as we go through our land via canoe to see the river. And um, we hope to be back next week with a bus video we're trying to do um, at least every other bus and river or mainly bus very little river because we know most of you guys are here for the buses not for the river um but anyway leave it in the comment below i'd like to know how many of you guys uh stay here for the river for the bus for you came here originally for our our van or if you just like a little bit of of, of all of them let me know in the comments below but anyway, um, we'll see you again next week. Uh, subscribe if you haven't. Like this video. Hopefully you do. And we'll see you again soon. Bye.